I used to do a ton of chest flies to focus on my pectorals. Back when I was lifting weights, I did them with dumbbells, did them on weight machines. Uh, I even, my first uh, big home gym that I built in my apartment, even had one of those, those pec decks, those shoulder destroyers, and I used to practically live on that station and just do it as much as I could. Then when I got into the body weight training, I turned to uh, suspension straps and gymnastics rings for chest flies, and uh, it was, not bad, it's not a bad exercise. But over the years, I've come to realize that push-ups and the compound movements, especially the progressive push-ups, I think are far more effective for hitting the chest as a whole as uh, compared to the, ch the uh, chest fly. And there's a few reasons for this. Number one is that uh, we are dealing more with the center line principle. Okay, we got the center line, and the more you can direct tension inwards, the better you are. And at first, it may seem like the chest fly is the ideal candidate for this because you're coming out and then you're coming in. But when you have a, a, a very dialed in push up, what's going on is you have to apply pressure inwards through both your back and especially your chest through the full range of motion. So instead of the arms coming from out to in, they're actually coming from down to up. You're trying to push yourself upwards. And it might seem like it's more tricep, not very much chest, chest, but what you're doing here is you're driving force inwards as you push up at the same time. Now, this affords you a number of advantages. Number one is this adduction motion, like you have with a chest fly, tends to selectively focus on certain areas of the chest. Like you do it on a flat bench and it's supposedly in the middle of the chest. Then you do it on an incline bench, it's supposedly in the top and then the bottom and so forth. And then you got people asking me all the time with body weight training, how do you focus on the upper chest, middle chest, inner chest? None of this is necessary because the push-up hits everything in equal measure. Because what happens is when you're at the bottom of a push-up, you're squeezing inwards and the force is a little bit lower on the chest. But as you press yourself on up, that inward pressure goes up your chest, kind of like a wave of tension going up your chest and then down. So you're hitting the entire pectoral uh, muscle at with one move. It's fantastic for this. Second of all, is it's a lot easier on the joints. Uh, with ab, uh, with, when your arms are out to the side, this puts a lot more stress on your joints and your mind knows this. Your brain understands this and it's actually going to inhibit your ability to flex and contract your muscles and hold you back because big part of being able to push harder is making your mind feel somewhat comfortable and safe with the exercise. If you're not feeling very confident in the move and you're like, I don't know, I'm kind of having a hard time holding my own on this one, it's naturally just gonna turn your nervous system down a little bit so you don't end up hurting your, your shoulders. In the martial arts, if you ever wanted to try and get anybody in an arm bar or cause pain to someone's shoulder, you stuck their arm out to the side or in an elongated position and you twisted and did all sorts of things like with a chest fly. With a push-up, you engage more in what I like to call the safe position where the elbows are in tight, the hands are in close. This is extremely secure for the joints. Very stable, very, very safe. And so those neurological shackles that prevent you from using your chest very much are literally removed and you can just work so much harder. And then the final thing to consider is progressive push-ups, like we have archer push-ups and so forth. In order to do these things, you have to effectively pull your body over your working hand to a large degree. You can't do this without extreme amounts of strength in your pectoral muscles from the top to the bottom of the repetition. So while you're doing this, you're, even, you're engaging in even more adduction, making the chest work even harder and lighten it up like a Christmas tree. So chest flies, not a terrible thing, but use them sparingly and if you're really looking to bulk up your chest, Push-ups are really where it's at, especially the progressive push-ups as outlined in convict conditioning. I'll put a link down below for you. Let me know your thoughts. Be fit, live free.